Hi everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here, bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about permission levels inside of Microsoft SharePoint. So I have a human resources SharePoint site open right now, and I need to guarantee that different groups of people within the organization are capable of doing different things inside a SharePoint. Because I have Office 365, my way to that spot is to go to the gear in the top right hand corner and go down to my site permissions. If you have a different version of SharePoint, look for the big menu basically on your SharePoint site and either go to site settings or site permissions, you know, something along those lines. You should be able to get to the same place that I am. So as you can see in Office 365, they pop open on the right hand side, this little area that says, right now you have three different groups of people. Those groups of people are called site owners, site members, and site visitors. And site owners have a type of permission called full control. Site members have a type of permission called edit. And now the question is really, okay, well, what does edit mean? What does full control mean? What am I giving to those people? So I'm going to go to my advanced permission settings. And as you can see here, it gives me the three groups of people we just mentioned, members, owners, and visitors. And again, over there on right, it says edit, full control, and read. But at the top of the screen, I see a link that says permission levels. And by going into permission levels, I'll be able to see what's happening with regards to what edit and full control actually are. So I click on permission levels here and I see a series of check boxes and I see a series of hyperlinks allowing me to get into each one of these different things. Now, as a quick point of reference, the reason I see this interaction right here is because I'm at the top of my site collection. If you are on a sub-site in a site collection, you will not see the ability to edit these permission levels, even delete permission levels. You'll have to go up a level in your site structure to be able to get to this interaction right here. So let's go ahead and take a look first at what it means to have full control over a SharePoint site. When I click on full control, you'll notice that there are a series of checkboxes and that full control means that you can literally do all of these different things. You can do things like create groups, enumerate permissions, create views, be able to add and edit and delete items, everything that you can imagine doing inside of SharePoint is capable uh, when you have SharePoint's full control permissions. But then underneath that, we have three different levels here, design, edit, and contribute that all kind of feel the same. You can see by the descriptions over on the side that designers are able to not only view, add, update, and delete, but also to approve documents and to customize things. People who can edit can add, edit, and delete lists. And people who can only contribute can add, update, and delete the items and the documents that live inside those lists. So that's the distinction between somebody who has edit rights and somebody who has contribute rights. But often I'll get this request, hey, you know, I really need to be able to give permissions to, you know, this, uh, this intern who is going to be responsible for uploading files, for adding files to the SharePoint site, but I need to make sure that they can't accidentally edit or delete anything. Is that possible? And it's at that point when you can see add a permission level right up here at the top. So I click on add a permission level and I can give this uh, a level name. Now it, it's tempting to call this the intern level, for example, but you really want to give your permission level the description of what it's capable of doing. So for instance, here I'll do um, upload only. And the description will be something like a permission level for people to add documents and items, not edit or delete. Okay, and so with that description, people who are trying to use this permission level will have a better understanding of what those people are capable of.
And really, all you want to do here is go down through your series of checkboxes and find the checkbox that corresponds with what you really want them to do. So as you can see there, I click the checkbox for Add Items because of course I want to be able to add new documents, add new list items. But when I click the checkbox for Add Items, SharePoint also automatically click the checkbox to allow those people to view the items, which makes a lot of sense because if you can't see what's there, you can't really contribute to that, to be able to view pages and to be able to open the SharePoint site, to be able to open the list, to be able to open the folder. So those four different checkboxes are marked for us because that is the minimum possible set of permissions for somebody to be able to add documents to a SharePoint site. Now I scroll down to the bottom and I click on create and you'll see there I have a new permission level called upload only and then it says permission level for people to add documents and items not edit or delete. So in tomorrow's video I'm going to show you how to create a new group of people within SharePoint and assign a permission level to that group.